You Every sound like a Kevin want. Samuels Jr. who died with a prostitute on top of him because he was taking too much Re Viagra and Red Bulls, which I will mean, be you. That young woman that was actually talking, she was a horrible human being. Black men and men in general are like in nursing homes, you know, lonely at the end of their life because of that vetting. I, I, this is statistics. Is because black men are bad at vetting, we end up in nursing homes more. Jesus Christ. Lord. Okay. So I'm not with nobody because I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody, even if you got to leave somebody. My ultimate goal here is to debunk any type of false narratives about black men for the most part. I've been on pages where they've just said some blatantly foolish stuff and I've had to defend black men and say, hey, this is not true. And the reason why I do that is because a lot of people, a lot of black men feel that black women don't have that normal level of respect for us that they should have. And the reason for that is because of all these false narratives that have been placed about black men in regards to black women thinking that half of us are in jail. They believe that half of us are gay, things of that nature. So when you have these narratives out there, these negative narratives about black men, then it's no wonder why our women think that we're just the worst of the worst. So that's why I take it to heart when I see people spreading false narratives about black men. So I try and look up the statistics just to so show any black women that felt that black men weren't doing what they're supposed to do to combat this. But this next one, I had no idea that I would even have to look at this, but I just knew it was wrong when the young woman said it, because I've been working in the healthcare setting for over 20 years now. Before I even tell you what it is, you're probably going to be shocked in regards to why she brung this up to try and shame black men. But I'm going to go ahead and let it cook. Here's the video right here. Okay, then why are men like the number one entity in nursing homes if they know how to vet their partner? You know what I mean? And they know, I mean, I'm just trying to find the correlation between the statistics, right. you know, because I'm not going based off the men I know. Yeah, like black men and men in general are like in nursing homes, you know, lonely at the end of their life because of that vetting. I, I, this is statistic. I mean, the reason why I threw that statistic out there is because they're, they're saying that men are, as a general, not just black, white, no matter the race, they are ending up in nursing homes because they don't have a partner. It's not about like finance. It's not about, and the Man, woman. If, if I'm in a nursing home. We both may be at the probably same stage. So let me tell you about this. This was actually on the Lapeef, uh, Lapeef and Sunday show. I tend to catch that because Sunday is one of my off days and I don't really watch the Lapeef Thursday show. However, this was their Sunday show. And so when I was watching this, that young woman that was actually talking she was a horrible human being. You did say, oh, these are the type, this is the type of woman as if I'm the poster child. You just said me. If I, you didn't mention me, sweetie. This is an ignorant, ignorant panel. If you're going to sit and try to degrade me from what my opinion is, sweetie, you just sound like a Kevin Samuels Jr. You sound like a Kevin Samuels Jr. who died with a prostitute on top of him because he was taking too much Viagra and Red Bulls, which will be you. Cause you're getting a little older, baby. You're getting a little older, baby. This young lady interrupted their show. She was very disrespectful to the, uh, the young brother Hink that was on there. It was absolutely crazy. It was the worst of the worst. However, I wanted to address this thing that she said about black men in nursing homes. And basically, if you guys didn't catch the gist of why she brought that up, she was trying to shame black men by basically saying there's more men, black men in particular, in nursing homes because they don't know how to vet women properly and they're dying alone in nursing homes and don't have uh, wives to take care of them. That's the reason why she said that. I don't think anybody caught that, but there was a distinct correlation in regards to her saying vetting. So you guys know why I'm here. You know why I'm here. There's more men, particularly black men in nursing homes. A quick Google search. Jesus Christ. Do women even look? The women that hate black men, do y'all even look at statistics before you say some foolery? Like, man, quick Google search will tell you this is from, <laughs> this is called 25 Insightful Nursing Home Statistics from 2023. 
just updated, believe it or not. Uh, residents, locations, and long-term care. So let's continue. Long-term care statistics by nursing home demographics. What does that say? 54.6% of nursing home residents are women. That was a flat-out lie that she said. There are not more men in nursing homes. There are more women. Let's take it a step further. Here's the ratio. The ratio is similar to the ratio of male and female assisted living residents as well, where 70.6% are women and 29.4% are men. So female assisted living. So this is very simple. This was an easy Google search, but she was so caught up in trying to shame black men that she just spewed out something that was completely untrue. And that's the type of stuff that bothers me because of the fact that these things are very easy to look up for yourself. But you be so ingrained in trying to think black men are the worst of the worst that you will spread any type of propaganda to try and make us look bad. And honestly, I went a step further. You know, guys, how I, you know, you know how I do, right? Um, the reason why there's more women in nursing homes is because of the fact that we lost a lot of men, older men, in the Korean War and the Vietnam Wars, which decreases the male population. Statistically, men die more frequently from heart attack and stroke than women do at an early age. Yes, we die earlier than women, particularly black men. I believe the, the gap is like five years. Women have the protection of estrogen, which decreases the risk of cardiovascular incidents. However, in the black community, that does not apply because heart disease is the number one killer for both black men and black women. And with black women being 80% being overweight, 80% of that number being obese, that's why that estrogen buffer doesn't help our women because of the fact that we're not taking care of our uh physical health like we should and then also married men may have had the same medical issues as a single or widowed woman but are cared for at home by their wives and since men men tend to die earlier that's why their wives are uh getting placed in nursing home and assisted living right So to sum this up, I I swear I did not know I'd have to go down this road in regards to debunking this about black men, but it is absolutely not true. There are more women in nursing homes than black men. So for her to say that and be so confident with it, that was nuts to me. And I'm like, well, why don't you just look? Because I've, I've actually volunteered at nursing homes and assisted living places. And it's always more women from just from the naked eye. And that's not me even looking at statistics. I didn't have to look at statistics because when I heard her, I was like, man, that seems like it's not true. So I quickly looked it up and found out that, yeah, I was right. The link says some some of these women will go to to make black men look bad is is crazy to me. I can't even think of a better word to even say, but it's what it is. Lord have mercy. 